Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we have some really interesting news. Apple has just released iOS 13.5 beta. So we were on iOS 13.4.5 beta 2 and now we have jumped to iOS 13.5 beta 3. So what they actually did here is just continue the same like beta stage, but they just changed the numbers from iOS 13.4 0.5 to iOS 13.5. So in this video, we're going to talk about why that happened. And also I will show you a few new features that Apple has included on iOS 13.5 beta 3. Today's release of iOS 13.5 contains Apple's first version of its exposure notifications API for the new pandemic contact tracing. And that's basically the reason why it has changed the numbers because the beta it contains a new sdk and it must have a new minor version number so that's why we have a change from ios 13.4.5 to ios 13.5 that's the only reason and now let's get into the new features of ios 13.5 beta 3. one of the best features of this new beta is the ability to skip face id if you're wearing a mask so basically it will detect if you have a mask on your face and then it will just skip face id and will take you right ahead to your passcode so you don't have to remove your mask or something to unlock your iphone with face id it will just take you directly to the passcode and from then on of course you can go ahead and unlock your device using your passcode not your face id and that's a very very welcome new feature of ios 13.5 there is a new setting on the settings app so if you go to your settings go to privacy and go to health here then you will find here a new section for the new pandemic exposure notifications now these are turned on by default you can turn them on or off right here and you will find also all the explanation that you need right there and i believe this is new as well headphone audio level so if you go right here you will see this part right here include other headphones which you can enable so basically the health app it can estimate the audio levels of your devices and if you enable this then it will basically include other devices that are plugged in on your iphone use them to basically measure like the audio levels that you're taking in with your iphones that's basically it about this feature right here so that's basically it for this video guys these are some of the new changes and features that apple has brought with ios 13.5 beta 3 so we have jumped from 13.4.5 to 13.5 a minor change but a few new features as well so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more videos also don't forget to leave a like on this one and i will see you guys on the next video